In this session, we are going to talk about how to use categorical predictor variables in a regression using SPSS. Now, for the sake of this video, I've got two categorical variables. One is gender and the other is country. So, in, in, in country, I've got three categories, China, Pakistan and Italy. So, the data was collected from three countries and in gender, there is male and female. Now, we cannot add, add these categorical variable as is in regression equation because these are not metric variables. So what we need to do is we first need to create dummy variables. Now this country here would be transformed into three different variables. Whereas gender will be transformed into two different variables. However, when adding them to the regression equation, we do not add all these variables. We only add one in this case if you've got separate dummy variable for male separate dummy variable for female in regression we will only add one why one because the other will serve as a reference category to which the results are compared in this case we will have three variables but in regression equation we will only add two the third will serve as a reference category to which the results are compared we are going to look practically as to how it works. So before using gender in our regression equation or regression, regression analysis, what we need to do is we need to create dummy variables. If we've got two categories, we do not need to create dummy variables. We can use it as is, but let's see how it is done. So we go to transform, create dummy variables and we will add gender. So each variable will need a root name. So in this case, let's say we give it gender and we press OK. So once we press OK, there are two variables created, one for male and the other one for female. Might take a few seconds because it's processing. OK, done. So gender underscore one variable is male. Gender underscore two is female. So here it is. So let's say we name it as male and gender 2 as female. How does it look? So let's see here. So here one would represent that this respondent, respondent number 2 was male. So if he was male, obviously the female will be 0. So here in female, one would represent that this respondent was female. Now, how do we use it in a regression analysis? So we want to assess the impact of gender on our categorical variable loyalty, whether there is an impact of gender on customer loyalty or not. So how do we do this? We go to analyze, regression, linear, and our dependent variable, the criterion variable is customer loyalty, and our independent variable is gender. We cannot add, actually we can add two, but it will be meaningless. So we need a reference category. So let's say I use female as reference category to which the results are compared and I add gender that is male here in independent list. We do not need to do anything else for now. We just press OK and we've got our results. Is the impact significant? Well, yes, the results show that the impact is significant because it is less than 0 0.05. Is it substantial? Well, it doesn't look substantial because it is quite low. So, what do we mean by 0 0.109 here? So, this means that male have higher customer loyalty in comparison to females. This shows that because the reference category was female, which was 0 represented by 0, male, which was the category that we added into our regression equation, which was represented by 1. So what we do is we compare our added category to our reference category when we are using categorical predictor variable.
in this case there is no negative sign so this means that males have a higher or better customer loyalty in comparison to females in the in in case of this study because this study was done in hospitality industry is this difference is this increase significant well yes the results show that this is significant so male have a significantly higher customer loyalty in comparison to females so this is how you can use dummy variables in your regression equation now let's say if you've got three categories or more than two categories the same procedure will apply so we go to transform create dummy variables we've already done this so we need country so we'll name it as country and there will be three countries now one for china two for pakistan and three for italy so here it is let's rename it in order to ease the analysis and reporting process china pakistan and italy and if we go to our data view we will see that we've got three variables here now let's go to analyze regression linear and let's keep gender here and let's use china as our reference category and pakistan and italy will be added as categorical predictors their results or their significance will be compared to italy we press ok and we see that gender now the effect is increase has increased and it is significant all three are significant but here now it is negative so in pakistan loyalty or customer loyalty in hospitality industry is lower in comparison to china which is our reference category is the difference significant yes the difference is significant italy low customer loyalty and the difference is significant yes the difference is significant so we can say that gender and countries have got a significant impact on loyalty let's take means for instance to understand this better so customer loyalty yes okay so we said that pakistan has low okay just hold on uh, analyze compare means means and we are interested in country as our independent list and csr or oh, sorry cl okay and now look here so china has got higher customer loyalty score obviously this is the results are showing the same pakistan has low customer loyalty score but the difference is significant so pakistan has low customer lo loyalty score italy has low co customer loyalty score then china and the mean analysis show similar results china has got higher customer loyalty so but is this difference significant well yes the differences are significant so we can say that gender and country both have a significant impact on customer loyalty so this is how you can use categorical predictor variables transform them into dummy variables and use them in your regression equation and interpret them thank you very much